Hey guys, what's going on? I know I'm looking a little wonky today because I have one style eyeshadow on this eye and one style on this side, but I wanted to share with you today my simple, simple trick when it comes to hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes like me, which are heavy and puffy and just really hooded. <laughs> so there's a lot of tutorials out, out there that kind of follow this style where you really carve out your crease and you apply a deeper shadow all the way from the outer corner to pretty much the inner corner. And I found over the years through trial and error that that is just unflattering on my shape eyes. It makes my eyes look heavy. It makes the shape off. So I... I'm gonna show you today what I do, and I'm gonna pretty much follow the normal like hooded eye tutorial you'll see on YouTube where you apply a crease color, then you apply your lid color, and then I switch it up when it comes to applying that crease. So you could see the difference here on the good eye versus the not so good eye, even though I really, really, really tried. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and keep watching. My eye is starting to water. I have the worst allergies known to man. So the first thing you wanna start out with is a base color all the way from the lash line to the top of the brow. And I'm just gonna use this color right here. And this just provides a seamless transition for all the colors that you're gonna put down on the lid. So then what I always like to do is I like to take whatever contour or bronzer I was using for that day. So I'm just using the Anastasia contour powder right here. And I have contoured slightly on my nose here. And I'm just going to take that same Morphe M505, which is what I just applied that base shadow with. And I'm going to work that into the inner corner. And this just gives me more depth to my eye. I don't always do this, but if I am doing like a hooded eyeshadow tutorial I will do this because it makes my eyes appear larger so I can see again when I bend my neck back slightly I can see the natural shadows in my eye and you can always feel for it with the back of your brush I'm just gonna start to work that into that natural shadow right here and you could already see my eye on this side looks much deeper and bigger than this side and you just want to make sure you still have a little see how i have a little space right there between the brow that just looks a little more natural everybody has a different eye shape so somebody's inner corner might actually go up into their brow but i try to make sure i have a little space there between my brow and this shadow and then of course you don't want any harsh lines so just go ahead and take a fluffy brush and blend any harsh edges so you can see that just looks like i have a little more depth to my eyes which always helps in the end when you're doing something when you have hooded eyes like i do as you can see my eyes are super hooded i try to not raise my eyebrows as much as possible i can't help it i just naturally do it but let's go ahead and get started. So you always hear these terms like your crease and you wanna deepen your crease, especially when you're talking about hooded eyes. You always hear you want to make the hood recede by applying a darker shadow, right? That is always thrown around in hooded eyes tutorials. But if you have eyes like me that are heavy like that, when you apply a darker shadow on here, it just looks so heavy and just unnatural, I have found that that doesn't work for me. So what I try to do is I try to apply my darker shadows towards the lash line rather than in the hood. But I still want to use a transition color. And you can either apply your lid eyeshadow first or your transition. I'm going to apply the transition to both sides and I would apply it the same way on either side. So let's just for the hell of it go in with the transition shade in this palette. I chose this palette because it's like $4.99 at CVS or Walgreens and I really like the shadows and I think it's accessible to anybody so use whatever shadows you'd like to use but I'm going to use this for the sake of the tutorial and then again we're just going to do the same thing to both sides and I'm going to take that transition shade and start to work it into my natural shadows and you could see of the two transition colors, there's one here and one here, I took the lighter color because I find, again, with hooded eyes, it's always best to use lighter as you kind of move up rather than darker. And I'll show you what I mean in a second when it comes to blending a darker shade into the crease. But for the most part, most 
tutorials will start with a transition shade like this in their crease. I'm not actually applying this in my natural crease. Again, I'm following the natural shadow of my orbital bone. And you could see how applying that contour color into the inner corner, it just seamlessly provides transition there. So I'm just gonna start to blend out these outer corners and you can already see how much more lid space it looks like I have. My natural lid space is literally from here to here and I work with that all the time but if I do wanna enhance my eyes and make my eyes look bigger, bigger, this is what I'll do. So I still have that space here between the crease color and the eyebrow bone so it's you still have like a separation if that makes sense. And then just make sure because we're cheating the crease a little bit that everything is nice and blended and there's no harsh lines. All right, so for the lid color, we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. We're just gonna go in with this color right here in the palette because it's pretty and I think these tones kind of complement me. This brush is very stained, but so it looks like it's a different color, but it's not. It's the color I just showed you. And we're just gonna work that on the lid. And again, I'm starting at the lash line to deposit most color and then with whatever's left I pat up and then I'm going to leave the inner third blank and I'm not extending this past my natural lower lash line I stop there and then I stop in my crease and we'll fill in a little more with a blending brush but this is just to pack the color on and you can see that looks like a hot mess because it's not blended. So now I'm gonna take my MAC 217 and we're just going to start to blend out those edges. And I dipped slightly more in the color so I could add a little bit more color into the crease. But your main goal here is to make everything go from looking kind of patchy to smooth in the crease. And because we've laid down that transition color, it doesn't require too much work. All right, so then on that inner corner, we're just gonna take the shimmer shade right here and apply that to where we haven't applied any color yet. Because typically, we open the inner corners like this. I'm having a little leakage on my eye, but let's ignore that because this is typically the point when I'm following a hooded eye tutorial that I get lost, right? So I've created my own crease by following my natural orbital bone. I applied my lid color and I've opened the inner corner with a lighter shade. That's pretty consistent with most hooded eye tutorials, but this is the point when I'm like, okay, what, that doesn't work for me because you hear those, let's deepen the crease, let's recede the hood of the eye by applying a darker color, right? So typically you'll see folks go in and they'll start to deepen from here all the way in to recede that hood. That does not work for me and this is what I'm gonna show you when it starts to kind of look strange on this eye and what I would typically do on this eye, right? So like I said, I like to keep most of the color towards the lash line. For me, that's just more flattering. Again, this is what my hooded eyes look like. I have a very, very heavy hood. So when I go and apply darker shadow in there, it just looks super heavy. So again, going back to our palette, Let's go in with the shade below, this shade right here, which is a little bit darker. And I'm gonna take that on a more precise brush. So let's grab our Morphe M507. So this is gonna be the bad eye, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is typically what you'll see when you're see watching hooded eye tutorials. They start to deepen this area in the like crease that they've created by bringing it across. And then typically that's brought down a little bit as well. I'm gonna blend this out and try to make this look good 
Then I'm going to show you my trick on the other side. And even though this is the side that doesn't work for me, I'm still like I, I always do trying to make it work. So I'm really going to blend these outer edges and I'm going to extend it up so I can lift the eye rather than drop the eye. You can see already my eye is starting to look heavy. So let me show you what I would do with the good eye. There's two options here. I would either take that shadow and run it along the lower lash line and keep it consistent with going from darker to lighter, or I would keep it really tight in my outer corner rather than extending it into this fake crease and bringing it all the way in to like accentuate the heaviness of my eye. So let me show you first the like lash line. What I would do, I would take a really pointed brush. This is just a ColourPop E10. I'm gonna keep that really tight to my lower lash line. And I won't bring this all the way into the inner corner because that's gonna close off my eyes. So I would kind of use this like a winged liner almost following my lower lash line. And then keeping most of the color on the outer corner. And really just working it into that lash line. To about where the iris ends. And then you could build that up if you wanted to, to like really increase that color and then just make sure to blend the edges. But if you wanted that whole like outer corner deeper look, but you didn't want your eyes to look heavy, keeping with this same kind of technique, I would just extend that up to the natural crease of my eye, right? So my eye naturally creases right there, but rather than bringing it down to make the eye heavy, I look back and I just kind of increase the size of what I just did tight to the lash line. And I'm not going above my natural crease and I'm keeping it an outer V. I'm not bringing that in to the crease because that's when that like heaviness starts to happen. So make sure you stop where your eye naturally creases and you could just increase the size of that like shadow wing basically. And then just make sure you blend the harsh edges. And a little bit of it, I'm gonna get a little bit closer, a little bit of it is gonna carry into the crease, but I do not let my brush go farther than the outer, uh, it's almost like the outer fourth. I wouldn't even say the outer third. Because we put all those shadows down, this doesn't take too long to blend. And then from here you just build up. So you can grab a thicker pencil brush, which is what I'll do, and just really start to deepen that outer corner. Make sure every time you do, you blend. And then I'm gonna go back into that lid color once again. And now that I have the outer corner defined, I can kind of raise that shadow on my lid. It is all about the blending with these hooded eyes and the layering and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna deepen this slightly We should be good to go. Now you can really see what I mean with how this side just looks a little more heavy, even though I've blended it out, but this side just looks more open and like more flattering on this shape hooded eye. So let me quickly start to work in the bottom lower lash line because I feel like everything just kind of comes together a little bit more. So we're gonna kind of repeat the steps. I'm just gonna take a pencil brush, take the lid color to start and work that under the eye. And then again, just take that crease color 
and darken the outer corner. And then again with that shimmer shade, we're just gonna pull that down. So now that I have my lower lash line on, hopefully you guys can see the difference here. I just find that there's not enough tutorials out there for hooded eyes like mine that highlight this technique. It's just too heavy when you have a really heavy hood like this and I find it's the same thing with mature eyes to really bring in that crease color all the way to like your like two thirds of the way in because it just makes your hood look heavier. And I've blended this out as much as possible. You could see it's patchy because there's so much texture when my eye kind of closes. It's just really hard to make that work. And then it's also just not flattering for my type of eye. So let me go ahead and look down so you guys could take a little bit of a closer look here. It's it's astounding to me how much more flattering such a typical technique can make my eyes look. So yeah, let me go ahead and apply mascara and I'm going to put a nude liner in the waterline and then I'll meet you back here in a second and we will sum everything up. All right, you guys, mascara is on. I did go ahead and curl this eye so you guys can see what a difference curling the lashes make. I don't have good lashes to begin with, but you could really see a difference between the curled one and the one that's just kind of looking like oomph. And then I did go ahead as I got closer in my mirror, I added a little more of that lid shade up here to really round out the eye. I realized it was missing a little bit, so I did add a little bit up there. But yeah, this is what everything is looking like. Good eye versus bad eye. So you can see it's a very, very subtle difference, but I see so many hooded eyes tutorials that really like try to carve out that crease with a darker shadow and they bring it all the way in. And for me and my shape eyes, it's just too heavy. And you could see it when I kind of don't hold my eyebrows up, which I do all the time. It just looks heavier and unflattering. This just makes the eye look a little bit more open. Sorry, I'm starting to kind of cry on this side because I have horrible allergies, but you can overall see what everything looks like. So I hope that small tip was helpful for you guys. There's just not a lot of people on YouTube with really, really hooded, heavy eyes like I have, at least that I've seen. If you guys can recommend anybody, please recommend them below. I'd love to watch their tutorials and see what tips they have. But that's pretty much it for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Otherwise, thanks so much for hanging out today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.